Hi, I'm Bart Hansen. I'm the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. Yeah, I, I'm in the cutoff. Uh, I've got ace-jack offsuit. Uh, the, there's, the, there'll end up be one villain uh, with an effective stack of 300. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there are three limps to me. Uh, I raise to 15. Okay. I have folds around to uh, the villain in middle position who calls. One of the limpers, so right? Up to the flop. Yeah. He was and how deep limper. are you guys? Uh, I have him covered. Mm -hmm. uh, he's effective at 300. Okay. So you make it 15. I, I would sort of say that that might be a little bit. What's the standard straight open if there's no limps? Like, don't people usually make it 10 or 15 without limps? Usually 10, yeah. So, so I would just look at this like I would take... Limps. Yeah, I would take the limps. I mean, it's just a small thing, but usually I would say, all right, well, if I make it 10 without limps, there's three limps, I would add the limps in there. So, you know, I'd, I guess it's at one, two. I guess that would be 16. So you're not far off. Okay, so your head's up. Right. Okay. Uh, so the uh, flop comes jack, seven, three, rainbow. Jack, seven, three, rainbow. Okay. So I, I've got top, top. Uh, he checks to me, mm -hmm. and I am certainly going to bet this. Uh, my question, well, pretty much all my questions are primarily about sizing here. Um, that's a really dry board. Right. And so I go ahead and size um, a little bit lower. But then I was thinking later maybe it'd be better to size up. He's not going to have any draws to try to you know, keep in or anything. Um, either he's going to have something or he's not. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about just whether to go a little bigger or smaller on this. No, actually, I, I, I don't think that it, it, Jack 7 3 Rainbow on a drier board, you actually want to. I mean, you have a very strong hand here on this board, and mm -hmm. um, you sort of want people to call with inferior hands and some sort, some hands that they're supposed to continue with. So, I, I mean, at the small levels, the thing is, is that people might just call with a piece of anything, anyways. I wouldn't bet 30, I'd bet like maybe 15 or 20. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I made it 15. Uh, okay, so you're betting about half the size of the pot. Or just, yeah. well, 15 and 35. Okay, yeah. Uh, and yeah, he quickly calls. Okay, that's good. So, the, so go to the, the turn. Uh, yeah, the turn comes um, but off suit ace, full rainbow. Okay. Uh, so so you, I've got top two now. Yeah, so you have aces up here. So... The pot is probably like what fifty five something like that now. Uh, probably sixty <clears throat> or so. Okay. With the three limp. Right, right. Okay. There, there was a little extra there before. Okay. Um, so yeah, he checks to me. Mm -hmm. I bet again, obviously now. Um, and again, I decided to go a little, right around half pot again. I made it thirty five. I think that's fine. And I also think that you can do that with your bluffs here too. Like if you were gonna bet, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously like king queen. Um, you know, something like that, um, which is like a double barrel queen 10, right? You know, king 10. It's just going to be, I mean, it's, you hope that he has aces up here or that he peeled you with like ace high, like ace 10 or something like that. And mm -hmm. if you say that the turn, did, did you remember if the turn brought in any type of backdoor flush draw? Cause that's important no, too. It was a uh, full rainbow board. So if it's a full rainbow board and he calls the turn, then he probably has hit some sort of ace or he's got aces up. And I would probably bet larger at the end. The reason why I say on the river, I mean, the reason why I say, is there any backdoor flush draw is because if the ace puts out a backdoor flush draw and he calls turn, then he can sort of have like a straight draw on the flop that picks up a backdoor hard draw or a pair that has picked up a backdoor hard draw. But if there's no... Um, backdoor flush draw whatsoever, then it's just tough for him to call. But okay, so you, you, checks, you bet 35. Yeah, and he quickly calls again. Okay. Um, so now the pot's like yeah, 170, trying to, trying right? Trying to range him. Oh. The pot's like 170? Um, probably 140 or so, I think. Oh, yeah, 140. I'm sorry, 17, 17, 60. Okay. Yeah, okay. And he's put in like, he's got like 240 left, right? 
In his yeah, stack. 15, 15, yeah. 35. Yeah. So, yeah, 230, 240. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I... Anyway, the river comes a four of clubs. So, you know, almost nothing changes there unless somehow he had... Oh, okay. Six, so, by, the, by the way, right, five, six is a straight... Uh, four yeah, so five actually four five was actually a, str a gutter that turned a double gutter on the turn but the, uh, i'm saying if the river was a deuce that could be a hand that he could have four five but now the river being a four that doesn't really change anything because five six was still just a gut shot you know right yeah so yeah like i i can never see any way really that i'm not ahead here mm -hmm. um, it, it seems very much like he's either King Jack or floated the flop with an ace and now has top pair. Yeah, I would bet large here at the end, possibly all in, and I'll tell you. So I assume he checked to you? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would probably bet large here, possibly all in. It depends on if you think, depending on how this game runs, so you want to be what's called polar here at the end. Like, I don't think that he's going to call you down for three streets with a jack, okay? Okay. So if he doesn't right. call you down for three streets here with a jack, then you want to target his back, his turned backed into or like backed into single paired aces, um, or he has aces up of another variety, and you're gonna cooler him anyways. And the thing is, is that, oh, what's your name? Chris. Chris. I mean, I have to ask you. Like this guy, he's a farmer. You're playing in a one-two farmer's game in Illinois. If a guy limp called pre-flop with ace 10 okay check called the flop let's say he has ace 10 with like a backdoor flush draw and he's got backdoor straight draws on jack 7 3 so let's say he has ace 10 he check called the flop he's check called the turn now my question to you is is that if you move all in here do you think he would call with ace 10 um he would definitely think about it because i think that they probably would the way that the hand played out now, if you never yeah. bluff or if the guy's super nitty, that's why I'm asking you that question. The other thing too is is that like if people never move all in in your game for this sizing and you don't and it's a combination of like this is absurd, like when people do this, they always have top set and you're not one that bluffs, right. then I could see not moving all in. You know what I mean? But yeah. um Yeah, I mean I'm definitely like the one of the tightest guys at the table. Yeah. They, they had been making fun of me earlier that night for folding uh, king queen on a king high board. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, you know, facing a three bet. I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll get it in good later. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of game it is. They have a hard time getting away from top pair. Um, so yeah, this is the big decision that I feel like I misplayed. Mm -hmm. I bet relatively small. I bet seventy five. So you bet seventy five into one thirty or something like that. Yeah, because yeah, I. At the time, I felt like he just had a lot of jacks in his range, and I wanted to get called. Um, but yeah, but I mean, you know, is he going to call it, down? Really with, is he going to yeah? Is he going to call down for three streets though with a jack, flop, turn? I mean, mm. uh, I mean, when you bet three streets on an ace and on a, I mean, usually, I mean, somebody might call twice and then they'll fold river. I, yeah, I would tend to go one fifty plus here as a pot. I like I said, the whole the, the reasoning behind this is that I don't expect him to call with a jack across three streets, and he might have an ace that's sort of a weirdly played ace that check called flop. You know. So you bet yeah, seventy five. Yeah. 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 And what happened? Um, he. <laughs> I don't, he, he just liked to gamble, I guess. He snapped called and then immediately got his cards ready to muck. Okay. He wanted to see, but knew he was beat. So, okay. Yeah, he, he called. I tabled my hand and he mucked him. So I didn't see what he had. But that's interesting, but you still feel like you might have misplayed the hand, though, looking back at it. Yeah, just with how quickly he called the river, I feel like I could have gotten more value. But you're thinking so about, the, you're, you're just thinking that he's going to call you with a jack? Or do you think you actually had an ace? Uh, I think it has to be one or the other. The, the reason I sized down was so that he would also call with jacks and not just aces. Um, yeah. But, yeah, again, I, I feel like that's probably more of a mistake now looking back on it. Well, I mean, if you think that a guy's just going to call you down with a jack and you make it larger and he's not going to call you down with a jack, then that could be – like I said – I am going with the assumption that he's not going to call with a jack across three streets when you bet flop, bet turn when an ace comes and bets river and you don't do a whole lot of bluffing. 
So mm -hmm. if that's the case, then I would size up to target an ace that was check called on the flop. And when they run in the top pair and you shouldn't have it, that they're going to have a hard time folding or they have aces go. Now, if you tell me that this guy will still call with a jack across three streets, if you don't make it super large, then a case could be made that you could do that to target a jack, you know? Mm -hmm. But anyways, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Bart. All right. Hey, guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out CrushLivePoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA200. Click on the link right there.